Blow to the front. Blow to the front. He never Let's missed a photo good. opportunity. Big cheer. And with his telephone in one hand and a cup of tea in the other, the Sinn Féin Lord Mayor tried to speak to people in every corner of Belfast. It only backfired once when he went to Woodville Park near the Shankill Road. He was hurt by the experience, but it didn't stop him trying to reach out across the divide. A personal highlight of the year for me was that the Shankill and Woodville Methodist congregation came into the parlour with their Bible study group and I said I would pop in at the end just to say hello. Uh, and when I came in at around 8.30 at night, they were praying for the Lord Mayor. And that was a very, very special, moving, emotional moment for me. He went pink for the Giro and brought some humour to City Hall. All a far cry from 1987, when he first joined the council. Well, when I came in here, yes, every day to meetings we wore a flak jacket. I wasn't allowed to speak. I was thrown out of my first meeting after 10 minutes. Um, what I say is let's, let's not do the past too much because uh, for every hurt and piece of division that I can talk about, someone from another political perspective can talk about the terrible hurt and sorrow and heartbreak and grief that uh, existed during the years of darkness in this city. At one of his final engagements, he received a standing ovation. And joining in the applause was the DUP. Oh, on balance, I think a more positive contribution than negative. I think he has been uh, a good Lord Mayor, um, not necessarily a, a Sinn Féin Lord Mayor, and I think that's probably why he has established a good reputation. The next Lord Mayor is going to do things slightly differently. I'm not into selfies. I'm not into selfies. Um, no, that's not me. That's not me. A bit, a bit more subdued than marching, but certainly it'll bring the same level of energy. Even his opponents say he'll be a hard act to follow. Mark Simpson, BBC Newsline.